What is SPA No in welding? SPA is a universal classification system for filler materials. 5.1 is for carbon. Steel electrodes for SMAW, hence the designation E6013. What is backing in welding? Backing is defined as material placed at the root of a weld joint for the purpose of supporting molten weld metal. Why do you carry out purging in GTAW of stainless steel pipe joints? Preventing oxidation and thus avoiding discoloration and welding and debead. Discontinuities in tubes and pipes can be achieved readily by purging the inside with inert gas. What does E6013 stand for? The first character A in E6013 stands for flux covered electrode as used in metal manual arc welding. E60XX the next two characters indicate the minimum tensile strength, one for position and three for coating type. How do I choose a welding consumable? As a rule, when welding materials that have different tensile strengths, the consumable you choose should match the material with the lower tensile strength. The preheat temperature you use should match what is required for the material with the higher tensile strength. How to store and read re welding consumables? Electrodes for shielded metal arc welding, SMAW, or stick electrodes must be Properly stored in order to deposit quality wells. When stick electrodes absorb moisture from the atmosphere, they must be dried in order to restore their ability to deposit quality wells. Electrodes with too much moisture may lead to cracking or porosity. Operational characteristics may be affected as well. If you've experienced unexplained well cracking problems, or if the stick Electrode arc performance has deteriorated, it may be due to your storage methods or redrying procedures. Follow these simple storage, exposure and redrying techniques to ensure the highest quality welds, as well as the best operational characteristics from your stick electrodes. Storing low hydrogen stick electrodes. Low hydrogen stick electrodes must be dry to perform properly. Unopened, Lincoln hermetically sealed containers provide excellent protection in good storage conditions. Open cans should be stored in a cabinet at 250 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. 120 to 150 degrees Celsius. Low hydrogen stick electrode coatings that have picked up. Moisture may result in hydrogen-induced cracking, particularly in steels with a yield strength of 80,000 psi, 550 megapascals and higher. Moisture-resistant electrodes with an R suffix in their AWS classification have a high resistance to moisture pickup coating and, if properly stored, will be less susceptible to this problem, regardless of the yield strength of the steel being welded. Specific code requirements may indicate exposure limits different from these guidelines. All low hydrogen stick electrodes should be stored properly, even those with an R suffix. Standard EXX18 electrodes should be supplied to welders twice per shift. Moisture resistant types may be exposed for up to 9 hours. When containers are punctured or opened, low hydrogen electrodes may pick up moisture. Depending upon the amount of moisture, it will damage well. Quality in the following ways. 1. A greater amount of moisture in low hydrogen electrodes may cause porosity. Detection of this condition requires X-ray inspection or destructive testing. If the base metal or weld metal exceeds 80,000 psi, 550 megapascals yield. Strength, this moisture may contribute to underbead or weld cracking. 2. A relatively high amount of moisture in low hydrogen electrodes causes visible external porosity in addition to internal porosity. It also may cause excessive slag fluidity, a rough weld surface, difficult slag removal, and cracking. Point 3. 
Severe moisture pickup can cause weld cracks in addition to underbead. Cracking, severe porosity, poor appearance and slag problems. Pre-drying low hydrogen stick electrodes. Pre-drying, when done correctly, restores the electrode's ability to deposit quality wells. Proper re-drying temperature depends upon the electrode type and its condition. One hour at the listed final temperature is satisfactory. Do not dry electrodes at higher temperatures. Several hours at lower temperatures is not equivalent to using the specified requirements. Electrodes of the E8018 and higher strength classifications should be given no more. Then 3 1 hour re dries in the 700 to 800 degrees Fahrenheit 370 to 430 degrees Celsius range. This minimizes the possibility of oxidation of alloys in the coating resulting in lower than normal tensile or impact properties. Any low hydrogen electrode should be discarded if excessive redrying causes the coating to become fragile and flake or break off while welding, or if there is a noticeable difference in handling or arc characteristics, such as insufficient arc force, electrodes to be redread should be removed from the can and spread out in the oven. Because each electrode must reach the drying temperature. Pre-drying conditions, low hydrogen stick electrodes. Pre-dry for 1 to 2 hours this will minimize the tendency for coating cracks or oxidation of the alloys. Intake coating. Storing and redrying non-low hydrogen electrodes. Electrodes in unopened Lincoln cans or cartons retain the proper moisture content. Indefinitely when stored in good condition. If exposed to humid air for long periods of time, stick electrodes from open containers may pick up enough moisture to affect operating characteristics or weld quality. If moisture appears to be a problem, store electrodes from the open containers in heated cabinets at 100 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 to 50 degrees Celsius. Do not use higher temperatures, particularly for electrodes from the fast freeze group. Some electrodes from wet containers or long exposure to high humidity can be redried. Adhere to the procedures in the following table for each type. What welding rod do I use to weld stainless to carbon steel? Use 309L, including ER309LC, when joining mild steel or low alloy steel to stainless steels, for joining the similar stainless steel such as 409 to itself or to 304L stainless, as well as for joining 309 base metal. CG12 was the cast. Equivalent of 309. What is oxidation in welding? Oxidation is the reaction of metal and oxygen. If the oxide formed is continuous and effective in separating the alloy from the atmosphere, the oxide is protective. However, if the oxide fails to act as a separator, problems with corrosion occur. What are the welding defects? Welding defects can be defined as the irregularities formed in the given weld. Metal due to wrong welding process or incorrect welding patterns, etc. The defect may differ from the desired weld bead shape, size, and intended quality. Welding defects may occur either outside or inside the weld metal. What are the welding defects of fillet weld? Root or face undercut, excess convexity, excess weld metal, excess cap height. Incomplete fill, face concavity or missed edge. Insufficient throat in fillet welds at sea.